Let's find a new route. I haven't even gotten to the road yet. Keep right. How can you find a new route when I haven't even left the park a lot? Hello and welcome to American Truck Simulator. We just got a uh, job that we're going to take. We're going to be delivering some glass, it looks like. So we are on our way to pick up the trailer. We're going to pick up the trailer. And then we will be on the road. This is uh, Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there that uh, may be watching. Uh, and if you have a mother, or your significant other is a mother, um, wish them a happy Mother's Day. We just got back from the cemetery where I took some flowers that uh, my wife grows in our yard cemetery. Um, I'll be putting that Keep right and then turn right. I will be uploading that video to my uh, Facebook page at some point but regardless of that um, it's just Mother's Day and I hope all the mothers out there have a good day. Turn right. I will turn right as soon as I get this shiny chrome truck out of my way. So yeah, we're picking up a trailer. I guess it's glass. And uh, we will see what the final destination right. is here when I get there. Uh, looks like we're going to be turning right. Turn right. Right. Right here. It's all over now. It is all over now. So this is what we're after. Uh, it's going to Denver, Colorado. It's glass. It weighs 14,991 pounds. And uh, it's got to be there by Monday at 5.54 uh, to 10.04. Okay, here we go. So let's go pick up the trailer, which looks like is over here. Or is it around the back? I think it's around the back. Can I get around the back this way? I'm not so sure. And if I can, is the trailer going to be facing in the right direction? Or do I need to go the other way? I don't know. Oh, there's the trailer right there. And I do need to back in there. <clears throat> What's up, buddy? How you doing today? So we're going to have to back in there to get that trailer out. There's a guy over there sweeping up around the dumpster. Nice job. There's a funny looking thing on that trailer. Oh, we got a couple of them there. What are those, like yard dogs? They just move trailers around from one place to another on a big old parking lot? You guys are working hard.
ready to roll. And we got it. All right, it is glass. Yeah, it's not what I wanted. Oh, and it's all covered up. Well, how cool is that? Let's make sure I can get out of here without hitting anything. It looks like we are good. Wow, did I see all the way through the building? Oh, almost. All right. Let's get on the road. Get on the road. With the glass. See that car just jump out there? What the heck, dude? Get ready to turn right. Turn right. I will turn right. Set. 14,000 pounds of glass. Job income is $11,000. And it's got to be there by 5.54 p.m. Between 5.54 and 10 .04. And it is currently 12.51. <clears throat> And we got a four hour drive, it's not gonna take four hours, obviously. Go straight on. Uh, real time. Get my record clock started here. So we know how long we've been, been recording. So we're gonna make a left up here, it looks like it. So we're gonna get into this lane. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Gotta make this a little wide so I don't get all up over the curb. There wasn't another car next to me anyway. <clears throat> Go straight on. Alright. How's that? That? That's pretty good. Just before the line. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, we like it. So yes, yeah, so we're hauling glass, and it, apparently it is all sealed up in these uh, waterproof tarp things, I guess. Which is kind of interesting. Very interesting. Right lane ends. Burgers, hot dog sandwiches, pizza. <clears throat> All right. So I would just like to say, before we get too far into the video, that uh, I always say that I uh, respond to the comments, which I do. Good, bad, or indifferent, I always respond to the comments. I appreciate it when you comment. Uh, and I've taken a lot of the comments to heart for 
for example, you know, setting my brakes to the rear of Wreckfest, upgrading my cars in Wreckfest, setting armor on my cars in Wreckfest, stuff to do about when I'm online with Wreckfest, and even, uh, you know, you commented about American Truck Simulator, you know, nice job, and this, that, and the other thing. There was even one, one person watched the video and clearly went through the entire thing because at certain intervals, like at 30 minutes he commented on this, at 32 minutes he commented on that. It's one of the American Truck Simulator videos. Uh, and I, I do appreciate that. I thank everybody so much for watching the videos. Uh, if you're watching the video, please watch them all the way through to the end. Even if you have to get up and go do something, just let it run in the background because that definitely helps out the YouTube, YouTube algorithm uh, for my videos. Uh, but as far as the comments are concerned, I had one individual that commented and said, uh, roughly speaking, you said you comment on all of the videos, comment now. And I'm like, is that not really a comment? That's more of a statement. Um, so it is what it is, but... Um, I comment when I can, uh, but I do comment on all the videos, and I do appreciate all the comments, but <clears throat> just to insinuate that uh, when I say I comment to the videos and somebody wants me to comment now, um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that, uh, and we're going to get this class delivered. This two-lane road here with lots of trees and stuff in the background, which is cool. We pass this guy here. Hopefully, this is not going to turn into a, another two-lane road while I get around this guy. Well, of course, it is. Is there a car over there? Um, I'm hoping not, because I'm in the lane now. Oh, look at that mountain up there, that's cool. The mountains. So, yep, that's all I'm going to say on that matter. Um, basically, all the person wanted was he just said, you said you comment to the comments, comment now. That's not a comment, that's a statement. So... You want to leave an actual comment, suggestions, something you like, don't like, that's fine, but <clears throat> let's be, uh, you know, let's be a girl. What was that over there? Is that just a road going up the side of the, yeah, apparently so. Just a road going up the side, oh, there's another one down there. Yeah, they got a road going through there. Too bad I can't get on that road. Not that I'd want to get on that road with the trailer. But that mountain over there is pretty cool. There's more mountains over there. If this road wasn't such a curvy road, I would uh, try to check that out a little more. But it looks like we're coming around to... There's a lumber mill over there to the lefty. Even in a video game, because you will crash. And I have crashed. I think one of the first first videos I ever did, maybe not the first video, but I did a video where I was pulling out of a, I don't even know if I uploaded it. I might have. You guys would have to go back and check. Turn right. I, I don't know if it was the very first video, but it was very, very first view that I did I pulled out of a after picking up a trailer and of course I was inexperienced and didn't realize about how wide the turn I had to make and um, if I remember right I think it was a fire truck that I sort of uh, tagged with the side of my trailer and just kind of kept on going so sorry but uh, I've learned since then 
but I do remember something about that. But, uh, yeah, you'd, you'd have to go back and look. Oh! That car was coming up really quick, and I cut him off. Just as I was talking about being a bad driver. No damage. He slammed on his brakes, though. Sorry, dude. I do like the scenery in this game, though. <clears throat> I do like the scenery. <clears throat> the mountain, the skies, the grass. You know, it looks like it's all dead. But that's the part of the country we're in. I'm not sure where that guy in the car went. What is that up over there? Oh, it's a giant uh, wind turbine. I see. It's a windy turbine. That truck down over there was like just getting out of my lane there for a second because she slammed on his brakes pretty quick too. Alright. Yeah, the scenery is pretty decent. Where the shadows are. And the vehicles. <clears throat> Stuff you can see looks pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Of course, I've got the graphics set up pretty high. And I'm on a uh, monitor that does 165 hertz refresh rate. <clears throat> so that definitely helps. And I've even mentioned that in some of my other videos about uh, having a monitor with a really decent refresh rate if you're going to be doing this sort of stuff. <clears throat> American Truck Simulator is not that bad, but if you're going to be doing like the Wreckfest or anything that uh... okay, see, well, we got the roadblock off, fire truck. Police cars, what do we got going on up here? Is there a, uh, just we a vehicle wrap. stopped? So, yeah, so you just, um, Turn left. you need to have a really good monitor with a really good refresh rate, especially if you're doing, Keep left and then turn left. especially if you're doing, um, fast paced games then you have to uh, have a monitor with a really good refresh rate, if you're, especially if you're going to be like recording, because when I'm recording, it's recording the signal from this monitor uh, versus a monitor that's 60 hertz or 75 hertz. A few of my very early videos, uh, Wreckfest, if you go way back to the beginning, you'll notice that when I'm playing the game and I'm having to go into a, uh, like a sharp corner, there's another fire truck, if I happen to go like into a sharp corner, you will notice that the background gets a little jittery. And that's because the monitor is... Um, the monitor is having a hard time keeping up with the... Uh, it's having a hard time keeping up with the game itself, uh, as far as all of the... As far as all of the graphics is concerned so you have to have a monitor that's got a really good refresh rate on it uh, in order to make the video and the recording and everything nice and clear and this one does it's a Dell it's a curved monitor uh, it's got a slight curve to it I don't know if any monitors are more curved than this but anyway it's a Dell curved monitor 165 Hertz refresh rate and uh, it makes for really smooth videos. 
keep right and, uh, and then turn sm right. smooth recordings. Just a suggestion. Right. Just an FYI. Come on, dude. If you're gonna turn, turn already. This should put us back on the interstate. Does he have a stop sign? Where the hell is that car going? Why did you just drive around me like that? I don't think you can do that, dude. But they did it. Yeah, I've also noticed, too, that the way that people drive in this game is very similar to the way they drive in real life. Just like that guy just going around me. Don't... There was not two lanes there, so I don't know why. Turn signal on here. Let that truck back there know I'm coming over. I don't know why he, uh, I mean, I was just stopped waiting on that other truck and he just decided to just go right on around me. The way they drive in this game, just like I say, the way they drive in this town when I'm in my truck with my dash cam, the way people drive, it's ridiculous. And I've even had them pull out in front of me in this game when I, there was one where I was uh, just leaving a gas station and uh, I was just getting ready to pull out get out on the road and the car just boom that ran right inside of me. I didn't get any damage from it because clearly it was like the AI's fault I guess you could say but still it's like really? So even the game's got its flaws as far as the drive. Oh somebody got pulled over over there on the left. There was a police officer pulled somebody over. So yep yeah, so that you know that just adds to the realism of the game I get it. just adds to the realism of the game and that's fine. At least they're not trying to run you off the road. So just saw a sign that said Denver. So that is where we are going with the delivery in, what is it, 429 and it's got to be there by 554. And we got an hour and 14 minutes to go so we are going to be maybe just a little early, which is fine. I'm just out here making the money. Money! Money, 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 money. I have considered, and I haven't really got to that point yet, where I am going to hire my own driver. Uh, I'm not going to get him a truck. He's just going to be driving uh, other trucks, I guess you could say, other people's trucks, other company trucks. Um, and uh, see how that goes. And then I have to do a little research on that. I'm assuming the game doesn't have to be on. If you, if you hire a driver and have him drive, I'm assuming, I don't know, I wouldn't think you'd have to have the game on. In other words, even if the computer's off, see, I don't know. Oh. That was a tram of some kind? Maybe a bus? Uh, I don't know. Something I'm going to have to look into. Because I don't know how that works. If, if you hire a driver and you turn him loose to drive, even if the game is off, is, 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 still, is the game still going to be, you know, someplace, like some online server or something, is he still going to be working and making you money even though you're not on the game? Or does your, uh, or, you know, I can't imagine you've got to have the game up and running all the time. Oh, the train must be going under the bridge there. I can't imagine you'd have to have the game on all the time, just so that your driver can drive. I would think that would be an online thing. Like whatever the American Truck Simulator online server is, uh, you'd 
hire a guy, you'd send him out to drive, you'd shut down the computer, you'd come back a day or two later, and he's, you know, earned you some money or whatever, so. Something I'll have to look into. I know you can do that. Uh, eventually, you know, get him his own truck, or own truck. Tucker delivery's right around the corner up here. It's right around the corner. So yeah, I don't know, something I'll have to look into. Exit right. Something I will have to look into. Keep right. So this is into Denver, Colorado. Road work ahead, reduce your speed. Well, let's hope they don't block me off again. I have to make another detour. Definitely gonna have to get off an exit up here, it looks like. We shall see. Keep right, and then exit right. I'm grabbing a little coffee there. <clears throat> White makes a pretty good cup of coffee. Exit right. Although I don't need, uh, you know, don't need all that cream and sugar in it. It's not a lot of sugar. Not a lot of creamer either, but she just doesn't drink coffee black. I don't mind uh, coffee black once in a while. Is this a one lane? Yeah, I guess this is a one lane road. Keep right and then turn right. I don't mind black coffee once in a while, but uh, the way she makes it, that's pretty good. Turn right. Okay, I think this is where we're going is right here. I do believe yes. We have to go through here. What do we got here? Um truck drivers. Do not unplug reefers from line. This reefer must be unplugged when the machine is in this. So attention all drivers. No passengers allowed in terminal. Or violators will be arrested, prosecuted, and banned from future entry. No passengers, huh? That's a good thing I don't have any passengers. So we have to squeeze through here, which is making no sense to me. Maybe they're x-raying my truck. Oh no, radiation. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but it's okay. Okay, where do we go from here now? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I guess. Uh, looks like. I guess it doesn't really matter which lane I'm in. Hopefully, they're going to let me through. I'm trying to stay right down the middle of where it, the red on the map. Oh, okay. We have a gate open. That's awesome. We're going to have another gate open. I have not been to this place before. Okay. See? That's what I like about this game. It's just the realism is, like, awesome. You gotta go through the gates, you gotta hit the way stations when they tell you you gotta pull into the way station. Got a big red stop sign on the pavement down here. So we'll stop, we got time. And we are going right over here. <clears throat> I want to make this kind of wide because I want the trailer to get through. We're going to miss that. Yep. I'm not even going to look to see how close that was. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Where do they want it? So it's like backed in over there or straight in over there. I uh, still need to practice on my backing in. So we are just going to dump it right here. 
we are going to drop it off right there. Am I going to get past the... Uh... Oh, I don't think I'm going to make that. I don't think I'm going to make that, folks. Nope, definitely not going to make that. Definitely not going to make that. swing that a lot wider than that if we're gonna get in there Now I should be able to make that. Um, steering wheel's upside down. Oh yeah, we got it now. Yep, I definitely did not swing wide enough for that. All right, so where are we going? Um, it looks like right there. Looks like right there. <clears throat> skip the parking I want to park if I skip the parking I don't make as much XP as I would if I park I make more if I actually back it in somewhere but like I said I need to practice I'm gonna have to get a trailer I'm gonna have to get a trailer and uh, practice my backing up. I'm going to get a flatbed. I'm going to have to get back to uh, get back to my uh, garage so I can get a trailer <clears throat> and uh, practice backing it up. We could just park right here because they might have a job uh, coming out of this place and going somewhere so let's do that we're just gonna put it right back here because they might have a job leaving this place. Since we are behind a... Uh, since we're behind a locked gate. I don't think they're going to mind if I just park here. We're going to shut her down and we're going to call it that. All right, everybody. Well, I uh, appreciate you sticking around and watching the videos. Uh, like I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment. But uh, if you're going to leave a comment, actually leave a comment. And, uh, yeah. Take care of yourself and others. And we'll see you on the next one. And happy Mother's Day to everybody. <laughs>